What's up, high level fans? I'm here with uh, another pro tip and trick to share with you. By the way, I am Beyond with Extendly for High Level, and today we're going to learn about when to use sticky contacts and when not to. So sticky contacts are, are available inside the forms, and they're right over here towards the bottom where you can enable or disable the sticky contact. What it does is when someone goes in and fills out a form, it uh, will automatically populate um, the same information for them the second time. So your name, email, phone number will automatically be, uh, be available there. They don't have to retype in that information again. And um, all they have to do is uh, go ahead and schedule a call or something like that. Um, a great example of a sticky contact being used is with a calendar page. Right. So when you have a funnel designed with a, a calendar on there, um, you go and select a date and time and then it shows you a form. You enter in your name, email, phone number, the rest of the information and then hit schedule my call and that schedules the call for you. Now, where you don't want to use a sticky contact is, by the way, so that's a great example of using a st sticky contact, right? So the next time someone has to go and book another call or another appointment or something like that, their information is already pre-filled. All they do is select date and time. Now you're saving them time from having to manually enter in that information over and over again, which could be tedious. So for that reason, sticky contact is great. But... Um, what what some people misunderstand is that you could just overwrite the contact with a new person's name, phone, and email, and it'll still work. So what that does is if you do that, if I, for example, if I typed in my information and I overwrote the contact with now a new person's information on the same computer, same browser that I'm using, it's going to actually overwrite that contact inside uh, high level as well. So it's not creating a new contact with that new information that I've entered in of a second person. It's literally replacing the original contact uh, with the new person. So uh, where you don't want to use sticky contacts is wherever you are expected to possibly have more than one person fill out different information um, on a form. So for example, let's say if it's an internal form that you are using on your side, maybe over the phone or something like that, you're taking down customer's information, you're entering their information, you don't wanna have sticky contact enabled there. The reason for that is because if you did that, it's gonna overwrite uh, the information. And it's not handy anyways, because you need to be able to uh, put in different information for different clients. So keep that in mind. Don't use sticky contacts wherever multiple contact information is anticipated to be entered in, but do use sticky contact where it is customer facing and it is going to be used for that customer who is going to enter in their information inside that form over and over again. So utilize sticky contact there. All right. Thanks for watching uh, Pro Tips and Tricks. Be sure to join our Facebook group. To do that, go to getextendly.com slash Facebook. That's getextendly.com slash Facebook. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to receive more tips and tricks just like this one. Thanks. Take care.